we got different kind of 3D printing techniques that I know. FDM, FFF, resin printing, SLA, something like that. Now, since last week, announced a brand new technique by BCN 3D, VLM. What does it mean? And can we expect it in consumer-based 3D printers? Coming up, Zachary's 3D prints. Hello, this is Zachary, and welcome to this news and updates i wanted to bring this video one week earlier but because of the hectic because of the things that i was doing in my living room i didn't have any energy left to make this video bcn 3d did announce a brand new technique called vlm viscous lithographic manufacturing I would say after seeing the video from last week, it's a combination. We all know that the normal FDM or FFF way of printing takes a very long time. For resin printing, you can add a whole bunch of materials to the build plate and then pulling every time a new layer and everything is be much faster. Sometimes you can have a whole build plate filled with different kind of models and print it in the same time for normal fdm printing this is not possible or you need to have a very fast 3d printer like a core xy printer or a vorum printer core xy but it's still limited well the combination having a build plate and resin would be something like vlm bcn 3d did a very great job with developing this type of printing so the resin is going to be used i don't think it's the normal resin that we would see in an resin printer but this this type of resin is a little bit thicker it's not as liquid as it is on the normal resin printers if you get what i mean so how does it work you have two resin fats on both sides you can i think you can fill them with the same material or you can do something like multi material multi-color different kind of materials it's all possible with this technique so what if you want to print one single material you put resin in one side there is a film i think it's the same kind of material used in resin fats you got a whole film around the let's say unit okay it starts at one point it puts resin onto the bottom of the film and then it goes to the build plate the build plate goes all the way to the top the image is going to be projected on the other side of the film so you will get your first layer then the film is going back it drops the remaining resin back into the vat and then this process is going to be continued the film is going to be back in its place with a new fresh layer of resin and the process is going to be repeated so like i mentioned it looks very similar like a resin printer but also a fdm fff style 3d printer but then with a resin as a way of printing like we can also see in the presentation you have the possibility to use two different kind of materials normal polymer and on the other side you can put some soluble material or other colors as well it's going to be Something like an IDEX printer, but then with one print head, something like that. If this, this layer is finished on the left side, then the right side comes and then the other color or the other material is being printed on the previous layer. I hope it makes sense because this, this is going to be something that I also would like to see for normal consumer based printers it is from all the brands that are using parts of this kind of printer they didn't show any printer in in the presentation only the technique behind or the technology behind this system so that means that i don't have any model any model name any outer appearance of this machine but if you can imagine a machine that can fit something like this yeah we have already seen the build plate already have seen z lead screws and you also saw the two resin fats on both sides and the whole print head on top of it so basically it doesn't matter how the machine would look like but can you imagine having something like this somewhere in a on a shelf just a consumer based printer i hope bcn 3d is also going to make machines like this for customers like you and like me and if so i'm going to bring more news and updates about this 3d printer or about these type of printers i hope it's not going to be only for industrial 
because resin printing is also very nice. I have a Elegu Mars 2 Pro standing there. I didn't use it for I think already a year. Uh, there's still resin in the vat. I don't think it's a good or a great idea but it's what it is. So I hope this video showed you a little insight about this VLM technique. It's like mentioned a brand new technique. It's very new. Later I hope to bring more news about this type of machines. If you're not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing. It would help my channel quite a lot. There are more videos on this channel that you can watch as well. If you come so far, you are amazing. Thank you so much for that. And I will see you next time. Peace. Bye-bye.